So I got a white paper towel here and let me slowly, oh, oh there's already mosquitoes on here. Whoa, look at the mosquitoes coming out now. Hello everyone, this is Jack. Well, previously I made a video where I compared three different mosquito traps. I compared a soap trap, a yeast trap, and a borax trap. Long story short, none of them worked for me. And I know why. I've been reading all the comments from the subscribers and viewers in that video. And a lot of you have provided a lot of valuable information that's going to help me to build this ultimate mosquito trap. So let's get started. Let's first start with reading all the comments and see what we need to make this trap. Well, Sam said, this is hilarious because I've been making homemade mosquito traps for years now and they work great. I use yeast, brown sugar, and water. That's all, except one thing. I use black construction paper to wrap the plastic bottle. Well, that piece of information is very useful because I've seen that if I leave something black, even my shoes, you know, they have black coating inside and mosquitoes will go hide in the shoes. Anything that's black that's been sitting outside, mosquitoes like hiding in there. So I tested by using this black bucket. I kept it outside all night long and look at this. I'm gonna shake this. Look at all the mosquitoes that are coming out of this. So the mistake I made in my previous video is that I use clear bottles and mosquitoes do not prefer to be in clear bottles. They don't feel safe in there, so they don't go in there. So we need to use a black bottle or a black container while well, Ogre Tom and writes and says, use hot water with the yeast trap because I've heard that before as well. Hot water activates the yeast and helps release carbon dioxide in the process. Robert Hart says, super simple and little to no cost. Place water where they thrive, but add a drop or so of down liquid soap. It makes the water slippery, but actually breaks the surface tension on the water. Others are also saying, use yeast plus sugar, use warm water to activate it and need a dark cover. So I'm on it. First, I'm starting with this black open bucket. Now I have warm water in this jug. It's about 120 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 50 degrees Celsius. I'm adding two tablespoons of brown sugar in there and mixing it well. And then I'm adding it to the bucket and stirring it and mixing it really well. And then I'm adding active dry yeast. After the yeast solution is made, I'm adding a teaspoon of dish soap in there as well. The yeast in the dark bucket will help to attract the mosquitoes and the dish soap breaks the surface tension of the water. So when the mosquitoes land on the water, they can't stay on top of the water, they actually drown. Next, I'm placing this bucket into a cardboard box and I'm placing this strap into a corner. Now I'm gonna leave the cardboard box a little bit open so mosquitoes can go in. You can also place the cardboard box on its side and place the bucket inside as well, that works too. However, I'm just gonna place the bucket inside and close the top, leave a little bit of it open so that the mosquitoes go in, they feel safe and it's dark inside and there's water in there and it's perfect conditions for the mosquitoes. Now while that is working, there is another trap that you can make and that trap catches the mosquito larva and kills the larva. Now why that is important? Well, I think mosquitoes are really smart <laughs> and I'm not taking that lightly because in my previous experiments, mosquitoes have outsmarted me. Maybe I'm not that smart, but still, I have some intelligence over mosquitoes, but they're still outsmarting me. So I have a backup plan. What if the mosquitoes don't like this trap? What if they try to land on the water, but the water is too slippery, or there's no surface tension, and they actually don't land on it. They actually avoid this trap and only the smart mosquitoes tend to live and all the dumb mosquitoes die. In that case, the mosquito population is going to become smarter and smarter and smarter. And what if they outpace humans in smartness? Then the whole human population is in danger. What if they invent their own technology? They go into space, they colonize other planets. The whole universe is going to be in danger. That's why this larva trap is very important. The larva trap is very simple. Take a bucket of water, fill it halfway with water, and add some spinosad in it. You can also add some mosquito bits in there as well that are commercially available, and that also contains spinosad. Now, spinosad kills the larvae. You can also use BT spray as well, which you actually use in gardening too. This way, mosquitoes will think it's just regular plain old water, and they will actually use it. And if they do, if the smart mosquitoes do, guess what? The larvas won't make it, so we are still safe. This video is sponsored by King's Yard. Now, King's Yard makes this hummingbird feeder. This hummingbird feeder does a great job to attract hummingbirds to your home and into your garden. It is really easy to open up this hummingbird feeder and clean the hummingbird feeder and fill it back with sugar water. You can hang this hummingbird feeder in your garden and you can watch hummingbirds come by and take a sip from this hummingbird feeder. If you're interested, you can check out the link to this product in the description of this video. Well, it's been two days. Well, let's check our box and 
check the bucket inside. Now let's see if we got any mosquitoes. Well, it's hard to see the dark mosquitoes inside the bucket in water like this. So let me pour out the content of this bucket onto a paper towel, a white paper towel, so we'll be able to see if this actually caught any mosquitoes or not. So I got a white paper towel here, and let me slowly, oh, oh there's already mosquitoes on here. Right here onto the side. Oh, there are more mosquitoes coming up. More mosquitoes. There you go. So many mosquitoes. Whoa, look at the mosquitoes coming out now. So many mosquitoes. Wow, and there's still quite a few mosquitoes in there that are left right inside the bucket too. Well, check it out. Check out all of these mosquitoes that this tap has caught. There they are. There's a lot of dirt that was caught in the trap as well by the wind. But look at these mosquitoes. This trap is full of mosquitoes and it is actually working. So we got a trap that actually works. Well, this trap worked really well. Thanks to all the subscribers and viewers for leaving all the comments that made this trap happen. And this trap is working. I also have a video on how you can repel mosquitoes as well. So check that out if you're interested. I've also noticed that if I'm wearing a white shirt, I don't get bitten as often as if I'm wearing a dark shirt, like a black shirt or a navy blue shirt. So it's always a good idea to wear light colors when you are in the garden gardening or when you're outside where the mosquitoes are. You can also wear a double layer, like an undershirt and then a shirt over it. It makes it harder for mosquitoes to bite you. Now this might not be as feasible in summer when it's really hot. So you can always try wearing light colored clothes. In addition, mosquitoes love standing water. So in order to eliminate mosquitoes, just make sure you don't have any standing waters around your house. Now that trap with spinoset, that's really good to trap mosquitoes and kill their larvae. So you can put that around your house as well to actually have mosquitoes lay larva in there and the larvas will not make it. You can also add a dab of dish soap in there as well. So if the mosquitoes do land in there, they will drown too. Or add a little bit of borax in there. So if mosquitoes drink from this source, they won't be able to make it. Now you're not gonna find any dead mosquitoes, any adult dead mosquitoes in that trap because that trap is not really designed to actually catch mosquitoes. But it's a really good idea to have around to actually eliminate the larvae. Now hummingbirds also help to reduce the population of mosquitoes as well. So if you attract hummingbirds around your house or in your garden, you can get rid of mosquitoes that way too. Hummingbirds will literally pluck mosquitoes out of thin air. So it's great to have these birds around your house. You can also plant wildflowers around your garden as well. And wildflowers attract hummingbirds. The more hummingbirds you have, the less mosquitoes you'll have. I really hope you find this video useful and very informative and I hope it helps to decrease the mosquito population around your house and I'll see you in another video.